What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One eye bride back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 1. Some news and discussion. Obviously, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen the episode, you don't want to know this information, stop watching now as we're going to talk about it. And I don't want to ruin it for you if you don't know this information already, haven't seen the episode. But how many timelines are in 801, Episode 801 of The Walking Dead? We'll find out what Greg Nicotero said as he directed it and should know. But it was a little confusing. Greg Nicotero said, so when you broke it down that way, there might even be four timelines because if you think about Rick at Glenn and Abraham's graves, and then you think about Rick on the back of the truck when he's doing his speech. So yeah, we always do that because it gives the audiences an opportunity to put some of these timelines together for themselves. Wow. So he says maybe four timelines in this one episode. So if Greg Nicotero is not sure... How can we be exactly sure? So it can be very confusing. So let's talk about it a little bit and break it down. So obviously there's gonna be some time jumps and skips in there too. So Rick is at Hilltop and he's looking at the graves of Glenn and Abraham. So that's clearly one time section, timeline, time jump, whatever you wanna call it. So Rick at the Hilltop. And I'm gonna go by the colored shirts for looking at one aspect of it because Rick definitely has two different color shirts on in the episode which will show two different timelines, so which is good. So here you see the same shirt on, I believe that he was at the hilltop looking at the graves with Carl when he comes and shoots his gun in the air and scares Sadiq away. And so he's at the graves and then he's there with Carl and not sure if this is after the attack or before the attack or what it is on the sanctuary. Side note, did you see Teddy Bear Girl all grown up in this Easter egg callback? We'll talk about that in a future video. Check it out, guys. Rick's broken down crying. Is this looking at the graves? Is it somewhere else? Is it after the fight at the sanctuary? Is it some different timeline? Not sure exactly, but they showed it a couple different times, so that could be after something goes down, he could be looking at the graves at Hilltop and it's just a close up of that because he breaks down, he gets upset, talks about mercy and just, you know, it's just an emotional thing for Rick. So he's going through some tough times here. He's looking on at Hilltop, see the different color shirt. So that's a different timeline. So we have two different timelines, at least right here. So he's at Alexandria planning the attack, talking to Father Gabriel about this is not about you. It's about everything, it's about us, it's not just about Rick Grimes. He's there kissing Judith, who's very young, as we saw her at a different timeline. Time jump as an older Judith Grimes. Not sure exactly how old is she, five, six, and maybe older. I'm not sure exactly, but either. She's definitely older than that. Michonne, Rick say goodbye. It's before they go attack the sanctuary. So it's a different timeline there too. So it wasn't that confusing, especially right here, because you'd see them plan stuff, be at the hilltop, then be at Alexandria and go about their way. So it's not too confusing just yet. Then we see them taking out the saviors at different lookout points. So that could just be a day or so before the attack on the sanctuary. So I guess it's a different timeline, time jump, but it doesn't, it, we're not confused by that by any means. They're taking out things to go to the sanctuary at various lookout points doing reconnaissance and getting the plan of attack on the sanctuary. And I'll talk about Morgan in another video, but he took out some people. He was pretty big in this episode, pretty cool. Did you catch this guy right here? It happened super quick, but this savior that Rick takes out looks to me like comic book Rick more at the New Beginning storyline with the facial hair and the buzz cut kind of cut like that. So that's Rick there and then comic book Rick around that timeline. I see that guy being a little Easter egg or uh, something for the comic, but I, like I said, it happened super fast and you might've missed it. But to me, that's what I see. Rick giving a speech, another timeline, time jump. It could be a day or so before the sanctuary attack or hours before the attack. But again, it's kind of jumping a little bit there. And they also jump to the speech before the attack and then they attack and then they go back to the speech again. So it was kind of jumping all over the place and I don't think people really like that too much. It's about 50-50 split if people liked the episode or didn't. I thought it was a good episode and I could keep up with it because I knew a little bit ahead of time about jumping all over the place. But Rick doing the speech, they attack and then they go back to the speech. So you're like, all right, time going over there. It's just not that flowing and straight linear passage where you set things up, complete the mission and move on to the next thing. They came back to it. So it, it was kind of cool, the Rick speech overall, but then we have the attack on the sanctuary, which 
I'll talk about it in another video, but I thought it was a little weak. I thought it would be much bigger, much better. I felt like the comic book attack was done better on paper than on TV, but clearly a timeline part, time jump to the attack on the sanctuary. So what did you think of the attack on the sanctuary, guys? Of course, that's a big part of the episode that we knew from the comics going there, but I don't know. It was kind of weak to me, and I'm gonna do a full video about the attack on the sanctuary and if it was you know, living up to the hype and not. But overall, Rick attacking the sanctuary and that's gotta be part of the timeline. So Rick going after Negan after they plan, take out lookout points, take out saviors, you know, have the reconnaissance, have things set up because the goal is to go to the saviors at the sanctuary, trap them in, take out all the outposts, and then maybe the walkers take care of Negan, I guess, or, or what it would be. But their goal is to take out the sanctuary and then go take out the outposts after that. So we saw a little bit of that there too. At the end of the episode, they went to an outpost back to the satellite station that we saw in season six, and they set that up for the next episode or two to go there after this attack on the sanctuary. So that's another little time jump. So it kind of jumped all over the place. And I believe the war will definitely be completed this season of season eight, but the battles will take place over the first four episodes. A lot of majority of battles, big things will happen and then a little more storyline and then it picks up again with some more action on there. This is them going to another outpost, Rick and Daryl on that. So like I said, that's another little time jump. Then we had this old man Rick big time jump timeline thing that is probably three, four years after the war. He's got the cane, he's walking around, and I'm really surprised that we saw as much as we did in episode 801 about the New Beginning storyline of it with the cane and the flowers and definitely the callback to Rick being in the hospital with it. Rick's not in a coma, no coma talk, that's done, that's off the table, that will not happen on the show. But Rick gets up, he's got the gray beard, the long gray beard with the buzz cut, looking like comic Rick, big time. And Rick with Michonne talking at the, some future timeline. Even Carl goes by and it's blurry so you can't see how old Carl is. But you know, if a kid ages in four years, three years, he's gonna look much older. So Michonne doesn't look any different, which she doesn't have to, I guess, but Rick's been through a lot. But then you see Judith, and yes, this is Judith. It's not some other kid. Judith is definitely older. I'm not sure how old, six years old, maybe seven <laughs> at this time frame. But either way, it's a different actress, different timeline, and she's older talking about a party, a festival that they're gonna have at Alexandria, I would assume, because that's probably the house that they're still in. Then they go out and you see the world is calm. They're building it up. They have this whole society and civilization and it really looks great. Alexandria is thriving. They have this house. They have people working in the yards and doing a lot of good stuff. It looks great. The timeline is definitely advanced. So there you go, guys. That's a lot of different timelines in one episode, 67 minutes. Well, total runtime, it was like 47 minutes of content. But overall, guys, I thought the episode was very good. The timelines were all over the place. There's at least four different timelines Nicotero is saying, so I agree with that. And I try to break them down as much as we can and explain it. So there you go, guys. Post your comments below if you can. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.